Hey guys, uh, Nikon have just announced the new firmware for the D700. Uh, it's now gone up to version 1.3, 1.03. Uh, so in this video I'm just going to go through how to check your camera first of all. And then I'll go through on the computer how to actually upgrade it. Um, you probably need to do this if you've had your camera for a while. Um, as you may know, mine was back with Nikon uh, last week for some repairs. And they actually didn't upgrade it, it's still on the old one. So uh, if you've had your camera more than sort of two weeks, um, then you'll probably need to do this. Um, as for what's actually included in the update, all it says on the website is that they've sorted out a bug um, where the camera would underexpose. Now I've never encountered that and I've never heard of anyone else encounter that. Um, so I don't know if you'll actually see much benefit to upgrading. But uh, you may as well because it's the latest one and uh, they obviously want you to do it. Okay, so first of all we need to check if our camera already has it or um, just to check what firmware our camera actually has. So to do this, turn the camera on and press the menu button. And then in the setup menu, which is the little spanner down here on the left hand side, go into that. And then you'll find firmware version right at the bottom, or you can just scroll through upwards as well and you'll come to it. So click the middle button for that, and it will tell you what firmware you're on. You'll see you've got A and B, and uh, at the moment both are 1.02. Now I think um, when you upgrade, A will change to 1.03, but B will actually stay as 1.02. Um, we'll find out in a minute when I go through. Okay, so we'll switch to the computer now and I'll show you um, how to get the new firmware on your camera. Okay, so we have uh, the Nikon website up on the screen now. Uh, you can find this. Um, if you've got your D700 registered with them, they should have sent you an email with this information already. If not, go to the Nikon website and then find um, services and support and then support and downloads and you should see it in there. Okay, so you can see up here it says D700 firmware update, um, A to 1.03 and B to 1.02. We just saw that my camera is both, um, A and B are both 1.02, um, so it's just A that's gonna change. Okay, so we've already checked our firmware, so we know that we're all ready to go there. Uh, now we need to actually download the file. Um, there's some instructions here for you to read through um, if you want and to download it select the uh, whichever one you need from Mac or for Windows. I'm on Windows so I select I agree. It asks me if I want to save it. Select save file and it will download it. Okay so we'll just minimize this. I'm just going to drag this to the desktop just so we can see it a bit easier. Uh, what we need to do we need to run this file so we'll just double click It'll ask us if it wants us to run. And you'll see it creates a folder here called D700 update. And inside that folder is a bin file. Okay, what we need to do now is get this file onto a compact flash card. Um, so I'm gonna go through now um, how to format your compact flash card and then we'll go through how to get this on there and how to get it back onto the camera. Okay, so we've got our bin file here ready to go. Now we need to format a compact flash card um, enabled to enable to get, to get the bin file onto the card. Um, so get uh, a card, a compact flash card, make sure that there's no images on there that you want to keep because we're going to be formatting it and erasing all the data. So I'm going to insert my compact flash card into the camera and then I'm going to open it up and you'll see here I've got all my folders and there's a load of images on here. Now I don't want any of these images so I can just delete that. Um, now we're going to format the card. So you'll see over here um, it says Nikon D700 is my I drive. That's the card. So we can right click on that and then click format. Oops. And we're just going to do a quick format. So just tick quick format. Uh, you can leave it with that as default. And then click start. Uh, it'll pop up with a warning saying it's going to erase all the data. 
and it will format the card. Okay, so that card is now completely empty. We can get rid of that. Now what we need to do is move this bin file that um, we opened up on our desktop and get that onto the card. So I'm going to open a new Windows Explorer um, window. I'm going to find my iDrive again, which is the compact flash card. And I'm just going to drag that bin file onto the compact flash card. So that's now copied onto the card and we're ready to take the card out of the machine and stick it back into the camera. So we'll switch back to the camera now. Okay, so we've got our compact flash card um, with the new bin file on it, the new firmware. So make sure that your camera is turned off and then insert the card into the camera. It's also advisable at this point to make sure that your battery's got plenty of charge in it because you don't want the, uh, the battery dying halfway through this. Okay, so turn the camera on and then go to the menu again and go to the firmware version again. You'll see now it's come up with update on the bottom. So scroll down to update, click across and it will ask you if you want to update. So click yes and then the update will start. This might take a few minutes so we're just going to let it get on with it and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so the firmware is almost done now, just got one little bar left. Uh, there it is. So hopefully any second now. There we are, update completed, turn the camera off. So I'll turn the camera off. And now we're going to turn the camera back on. And I'm going to go back into the menu. Back down to the uh, shooting, uh, the setup menu, sorry. To the firmware version. And we can see there that it's updated the firmware. So A is on 1.03 and B is on 1.02. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, it's a good idea to up, keep it upgraded just to have the latest on there. Um, so it's really easy to do. I hope you found this video helpful to go through and do it. All right, guys, thanks very much. See you.